Hi, so um, we're continuing with life science and cell biology in a nutshell, learning about membranes of cells and um, cell signaling via um, phospholipid molecules and uh, the enzymes that interact with the head groups of these phospholipids in order to relay signals across the cell membranes. So for example, here you have an extracellular signal, activated receptor protein in the bilayer. Um, you have an enzyme kinase on the inner side of the layer, inside where the cytosol is. And the docked intracellular signaling protein. Um, so. So phosphorylated inositol phospholipid, which is part of the bi inner bilayer, so the lipid kinase is activated in, in response to extracellular signals, recruits specific intracellular signaling proteins to the cytosolic face of the plasma membrane. Um, phospholipases um, that cleave phospholipids are activated due to these extracellular signals. The lipid fragments act as signaling molecules, relaying the signal into the cell. So here you have a, um, the phospholipid molecule. So the, um, these lipases are cleaving at sites indicated here. Um, so extracellular signals activate kinases um, on the outer side, um, phosphorylating the phospholipids in the membrane, and then um, intracellular signaling molecules bind to these phosphorylated lipids. Then phospholipases cleave phospholipids. Um, and the lipid fragments act as signaling molecules to relay the signals and signal into the cell. Okay. So different classes of phospholipases, cleave phospholipids, at, uh, ester bonds, or phosphoester bonds. So it looks like these lipases cut the phospholipid um, at the ester bonds, separating the polar head groups, which then um, help with relaying the signal. So the fatty acid tail is separated from the polar head group. Similar lipid kinases phosphorylate nostal phospholipids and intracellular membranes, thereby helping to recruit proteins guiding membrane transport. Phospholipids in the plasma membrane are used in um, response to extracellular signals. Therefore, the um, various phospholipases um, that are contained in plasma membranes are activated by extracellular signals cleaving specific phospholipid molecules, generating fragments of these molecules that act as short-lived intracellular mediators. Phospholipase C, for example, cleaves an inositol phospholipid in the cytosolic monolayer of the plasma membrane generating two fragments, one of which remains in the membrane helps activate protein kinase C, while the other is released into the cytosol 
and stimulates the release of calcium um, plus two charge from the endoplasmic reticulum. So here is shown the two branches of the inositol phospholipid pathway. The activated receptor stimulates the plasma membrane bound enzyme phospholipid uh, phospholipase C beta via G protein. Depending on the isoform of the enzyme, it may be activated by the alpha subunit um, of G as shown by the beta complex of another G protein or by both. Two intracellular messenger molecules are produced when um, PI um, pr which, um, which is phosphatidyl inositol kinase is um, hydrolyzed by the activated phospholipase C. Inositol triphosphate I, um, IP3 diffuses through the cytosol, releases calcium from the endoplasmic reticulum by binding to and opening the, um, the IP um, gated calcium release channels in the endoplasmic reticulum membrane. The large electrochemical, electrochemical gradient for calcium across the membrane causes calcium to escape into the cytosol. Diacylglycerol remains in the plasma membrane um, and together with the phosphatidylserine and calcium helps to activate the enzyme protein kinase C, which is recruited from the cytosol to the cytosol phase of the plasma membrane. And of the 11 or more distinct isoforms of PKC or enzyme protein kinase C in mammals, at least four are activated by diacylglycerol. So again, a phosphatidyl inositol kinase, which is PI. Phosphatidyl inositol is activated in response to extracellular signals helping to recruit specific intracellular signaling proteins to the cytosolic phase of the plasma membrane. The kinase phosphorylates inositol phospholipids in the membrane. Um, and the phosphorylated lipids attract intracellular signaling molecules. So phospholipases cleave um, specific phospholipid molecules and short-lived fragments are created of these molecules. Um, the fragments created from these phospholipids um, help with the um, signaling. So it says one uh, activates protein kinase C. Um, while another fragment is released into the cytosol, releasing calcium from the ER. Here in the diagram, it says G protein linked receptor signaling molecule GTP activated subunit. Phospholipase activated, um, a bisphosphate molecule, inositol trisphosphate, diacylglycerol, activated protein kinase C, open uh, IP inositol phosphate, gated calcium release channel from the endoplasmic reticulum lumen. So this is called the inositol phospholipid pathway. So calcium is released. G 
connected to the signaling pathway. Thank you.